Hey guys, this is Zero here for a new Let's Play. This is Let's Play Mega Man 7. Um, I'm actually recording this for a couple reasons. Um, number one, because I just fucking love this game. And number two is, I actually wrote a review for it, but I had yet to record the footage for it. So I've had this script for a review sitting for around for a couple months, and I was just home one day, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna play Mega Man 7. I'm just gonna do it. Like, I didn't know how I felt about playing it, but I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna play it, so... This is, uh, this is the first, uh, little bit of the game here. Um, and this is post-commentary, by the way, because... I started, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do this post-commentary because I just feel like doing it, but... And then, I got dragged to a Skype call with John and Isney and a couple of other my buddies. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do this, uh, commentary while I'm playing. So the next couple parts, <clears throat> or chunks of this, because I don't know how I'm going to render this, will have me uh, doing commentary, but people not talking back. And then eventually we decided we record the Skype call and say basically say, fuck the lag that Pamela's going to cause. We'll, do the, we'll use the Skype call and use that as the commentary track. So for the first little bit, it'll just be me talking. For this first part specifically, it's me talking uh, post-commentary, but then after that, it'll be all commentary from uh, whoever was in the call at the time. Uh, but yeah, this is the opening sequence to Mega Man 7, which I actually thought was pretty sweet back in the day. Now, mind you, out of the Mega Man games, this was the f third or fourth I played, I owned X... And we had rented X2, and I can't remember if we rented this or X3 first. I was a Super Nintendo kid, so that was the console I had. Um, Santa brought that one year, so um, that's what we had. I never actually played Mega Man 2, which is my favorite of the 8-bit games, until like about, I think like the end of the 90s, I think is what I actually started playing it. Like, I, I I didn't own an NES. The Super Nintendo was the first console that, like, we had. Well, we had an Intellivision, but we never played it. As in, my brother and I didn't play it. We were too young to play it at the time. But yeah, this is, um, this is the first game in the Mega Man series where there's an opening level and other stuff. I'm going to explain all this in the review when I get to doing it, and I'll post a link to the review when it's up, so don't worry about being able to see it. But I wanted to play this also just to say, you know... I really like Mega Man 7, but it gets such a bad rep with fans of Mega Man. Like, back, um, I don't know how many people, how many of my fans can follow back this far, but way, way back, um, in 2007, 2008, I did a top 10 Mega Man games, and Mega Man 7 was near the top, and most of the complaints I got from that, uh, uh, what got from that top 10 list was about... Mega Man 7 being so high on the list because most people said it was a bad game, but it's not a bad game. It's just, <laughs> it's just highly underrated. Highly underrated in my opinion, anyways. Seriously, if you're a Mega Man fan of you and you haven't completed this game, you owe it to yourself to complete it. It's it's worth it. As much as you might say, you know, the sprites are too big or the boss rooms are too small, it's not that challenging of a game, um, and the ending boss and, like, the ending boss and all the, uh, and the ending and the story of the game, you know, it's just worth it. It's one of the few Mega Man games where the story, like, I know, Mega Man game stories are cheesy, but this one's got slightly less cheese on it. It actually falls right after the events of Mega Man 6, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, seriously, if you're a fan of Mega Man and you haven't completed this game, you need to complete it. It's... It's... You can't... Uh, anybody who hasn't completed this Mega Man game, I can't consider a Mega Man fan, because... At least of the original games, anyways. Because, yeah, I couldn't... Right there, I, my controller wasn't set up properly, so I had to uh, make sure it was set up okay. But yeah, like, anybody out there who claims to be a Mega Man fan of the classic games and hasn't completed this one, I can't consider you a Mega Man fan because 
you most likely pass this game up. You either pass this game up because you didn't know about it, which that's fine, but if you pass this game up because you thought it sucked, then my question is, why is it suck? What sucks about it? And if you say it's the difficulty, the sprites, or any of that, no. You're just being a fanboy of the 8-bit games. I actually wish they had made Mega Man 8 for Super Nintendo rather than for PlayStation. But, or at least made a port of it uh, for the Super Nintendo because, I mean, Mega Man and Bass or Rock Man and Forte was for the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. So I don't see any reason why Mega Man 8 couldn't have been ported. It would have actually been interesting to see a port of Mega Man 8 for the Super Nintendo. Alright, and here's Bass, or Bass, or as Mega Man 8 likes to call him, BASS! So, um, that's what I'm gonna call him. He's basically, I don't wanna spoil anything, so I'll let you guys figure it out. But yeah, we're getting close to the end of part one, guys. See you in part two. Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7. In the last part, I, uh, totally failed. Well, I didn't totally fail. I had to redo uh, Freeze Man stage because I fucked up. It's all Isnane's fault. Yeah, I'm in a VC with him right now, so it's all his fucking fault. And he's totally ignoring me, but that's cool because I'm totally ignoring him, so. Yeah, alright. So. Sorry if I don't talk a lot, guys. Like I said, in a voice call, talking to other people, so I might be more engaged in that conversation than the conversation I'm doing with the game. Anyways, this is Freeze Man's stage, and the reason I chose it first is because I don't want to do any backtracing. I don't want to do any backtracing. <laughs> I mean, backtrack. Um, I can get, I can get all the secrets in his stage right here, and then when I go to other people's stages, I can get the secrets in those ones too by having his weapon. Wow, I fell into that again. That was smart. Uh, but I still got lots of health. I'm okay, guys. I used to use lances in, in Monster Hunter uh, Freedom 2 and Freedom Unite, but that's the only times I've ever used lances. Yeah. We're talking about Monster Hunter 3, guys. Uh, if you didn't notice, I posted like three parts of that of us failing it the other night. And Kirby, I don't know if they recorded any more parts. Uh, Unreal, did they? Re did Kirby record any parts when you guys were playing with them? Yeah, well, yeah, Soda's got this video on his chance called uh, Moscow Hunter. Yeah, Soda. System of a dork. Alright, well how like let like, like I was about to say there, that was the first secret of the stage. The letter. You have to collect four of them to spell rush and you'll get the super adapter. Which is very useful. Alright, so. Alright, so let's go. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, there we go. And that's the rush search. That is the second item. That that is a secret in here. There's about a total of three secrets in the stage. Unreal doesn't like people knowing about his reviews. The more people I tell about his reviews in his videos, I told a bunch of people about uh, about the uh, uh, Moronic Angry Gamer, the mag review. In fact, anybody who watches my LP channel should go check out the Moronic Angry Gamer review. I'll link it in the description box. It's just so unreal, and you have to tell Unreal how awesome it is and quote every single thing because he'll think that's awesome, and and. And he'll, 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 he might, he might just ug explosion at you. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> I didn't know. Unreal, get your head out of the gutter, dude. He just said, he just said, wait, did you just say fuck everything? No, guys, come on. Come on, I'm not his name. I am not his name. Okay, so anyways, let's um, uh, use Rush Search here because there's another item we can get right here. I'm making better time on this. I'm only five minutes into this stage, and wow. So, uh, let's get this part right here. Okay, and this is the exit item. Normally I'd buy this, but uh, I figured, ah, while well, I'm here, I might as well get it. it it'll save me some bolts. Alright, so let's take on Freeze Man. This time I have a little more health than last time. Will I do any better? Probably not, because I'm not very good at his uh, pattern. But, uh, I usually play Cloud Man first. Oh, damn it, see, that's what I'm talking about. He's already got the ropes on me. Okay, seriously, game? Seriously? Could I fail any harder? I'm probably not gonna be in the first time, guys. I'll spend the first life f failing. Just to try and get a, a groove for the pattern. And I'm already dead. An icicle killed me. Alright. Alright, so, let's... This is attempt two. So, and it's pronounced Gen Moran, not Meringue. It's not Gen Lemon Meringue Pie. I don't... I don't know. I don't know his name, and I don't care. Your face? <laughs> I think I think you've been watching too much um, cinema snob there, Unreal. Wow, I am doing horrible against Freeze Man again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the E tank that I got previously in the stage. And hey, I normally don't fight Freeze Man for shut up on or Freeze Man. I almost called you Unreal. <laughs> Fuck. I'm still doing horrible, and I used my E-Tank already. Wow, I don't want to have to record this again. <sighs> oh! With two pellets of health left, I defeat Freeze Man. Kick ass! Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> It's time to get some cheese and gravy on my Octorock. Uh. Well, anyway, there goes down the first Robot Master, Freeze Man. Not usually my first... Not my first choice usually to fight, but... But he's, uh, he's down. So, you know what that means. There's more to come, guys. Anyways, stay tuned. I got Freeze Cracker, a terrible website, but uh, but anyways, that was that's it for this part, guys. Stay tuned to more Let's Play Mega Man Seven. Bye.